the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you for joining the video again. So here we have John E. Deaton actually showing us a video of Gary Gensler before and after. So let's take a look what he was saying because he has different opinions. So here you can see as an educator and before becoming SEC chair, he honestly believed 75% of all tokens are not securities. Now as chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler believes most digital assets are securities. Which Gary do you believe? Let's take a look. Not all cryptocurrencies are inherently securities, right? That's true. Uh, there, there are uh, a small number that aren't, but I think that, uh, the, as Chair Clayton said when he was in front of Congress, I think very many of these uh, okay. facts and circumstances are investment so, contracts. And so if it doesn't meet the Howey test, it looks to me like it's not a security. Now, maybe you've got a good argument for why some are and some aren't. My whole point is, I think we need to have clarity on this. I think you should publicly disclose this. Apparently, there are private conversations where you work with people who are proposing particular structures and you give them advice, your staff gives them advice. I just think we ought to have that publicly and we certainly shouldn't be taking enforcement action against somebody without having first provided that clarity. Uh, some of these tokens have been deemed to be commodities. Many of them are securities. I see my time has expired, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. So we already know in the U.S. and in many other jurisdictions that three quarters of the market are not ICOs or not what would be called securities, even in the U.S., Canada and Taiwan, the three jurisdictions that follow something similar to the Howey test that we've talked about. Three quarters of the market is non-securities. It's just a commodity, a cash crypto. Um, so you'll hear debates about initial coin offerings and what's a security and what's not a security. Relevant, relevant and important debate, but for three quarters of the market, it's not particularly relevant as a legal matter, as a regulatory matter. Now look at that guys, in three years he changed his opinion and why? You see, there is something we are not seeing and they are putting it all in the back. And that's what really is concerning because Gary Gensler is actually not a small guy. Let's take a look. Gary Gensler, these men have for years controlled US economic strategy in the international air arena. All worked for Rubin at the US Treasury. Guys, th these people cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted with something like this. And they are planning behind our backs. They do not give a shit about investors rubin's web of influence godfather of global finance whispering in the president's ear gensler was chairman of the commodity futures trading commission the agency that regulates treasury bond and gold future trading now guys these people have insider trading opportunities they can make a lot of money of course it's illegal but these possibilities are there and they are doing it we know that these people are corrupt. Now that's what's really confusing. 12 days after September 24th is the 6th October. October is the 8th Jewish month, Sheshnov. So here you can see some dates guys and some predictions because of pictures that have been posted. Now here you can see that settlement time is pointing to 9th October. Then you can see the coins here and the snake has addresses so 30 days on from the alice cover on the economist is 18th october so they are giving hints to certain dates guys and of course we cannot say that it will happen on this date but it surely is relevant the snake a being of this earth that moves along the earth we come from the snake has golden rope you can see the print matching banknote print with an address is key so there are certain predicaments just waiting on that harvest moon so here you can see that this guy is tweeting some stuff which is already leading to 25th of september and 29th of september where they will press the switch very interesting stuff
this is all based on speculation guys do not take this serious if it looks like a weasel steals eggs like a weasel sneaks around a hen house like a weasel it's probably a weasel now here you can see he's talking about gary gensler guys now let's take a look this is in a document which gary gensler put together himself together with other people let's take a look on the other hand one might argue that xrp has been usable in some fashion on the ripple network since 2013 and that xrp and the ripple network might still e exist even if ripple the company disappeared and the economic function of xrp in ripple's pilot x rapid introduced in may 2018 is principally to provide liquidity as a bridge currency between two fiat currencies when transferring funds internationally now this is very obvious in a document that is written by gary gensler take a look the impact of blockchain technology on finance a catalyst for change now guys you can see that these people know what's going on they know what xrp is you see they just need time they already know that this is going to be the currency of the future 95 percent of our customers are non-us customers and only five percent are in the us why because the us companies are waiting for clarity you see us has not seriously starting to use xrp yet everyone is waiting for clarity is it possible to use xrp yes or no a lot of people can't even buy xrp in america right now because of clarity guys imagine if this is over what will happen and we are very 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 close we can see that so here you can see ceiling collapse accident mr pool is tweeting major collapses guys and i think he's relating to the stock markets and the economy which you can clearly see is almost upon us breaking people close to ripple say while the sec enforcement case over xrp has hurt its domestic biz its business is thriving overseas further proof of the sec crypto enforcement agenda is forcing innovation to occur outside the us story developing now this is not really true actually because i think that this is just a show they're waiting for the right time guys and then they will press the button let's take a look what digital asset investor found hey gcash spina this is what ethereum did at founding while ripple tried to work with regulators the truth is nasty texas bitcoin conference ethereum founder explains how he plans to get around u.s regulations and do his pre-sale if i were a ripple attorney i would haul clayton and hinman in and get them to explain to the judge why they didn't enforce securities laws on this launch our, our pre-sale on february 1st so this is the the way to get it to get into ethereum finan financially financially which would be that we would be selling ether at, at a rate of two of two thousand ether for one bitcoin and ether would be would become the the internal currency of the of the ethereum network so you would be able to set you so ether would be like the like the BCC in Bitcoin or or like the XRP in Ripple. It's sort of the glue that holds the system together. If he needs to, if he wants to run a contract, you would have to pay transact transaction fees de denominated in ether. It, and if you want to exchange exchange between two different assets on the Ethereum network, ch chances are ether would be the inter the intermediate th currency that you would be doing it through. So it's sort of like the res the reserve currency of the network. Now. So that would, so the up, so the way that you, so we were hoping to launch the sale where you where you'd be able to buy, to buy ether for Bitcoin. We had to delay that for uh, a combination of reasons, partially in order to better flesh out our flesh out the business plan, partially in order to better uh, better flesh out flesh out the terms, partially for for legal reasons. So we have. Uh, and we have been working hard at all those things all the way through fe February and, and the first week of March. So from an organizational standpoint, our current situation is that we have an, an entity registered in Switzerland. And the reason why we're looking at Swi Switzerland as a jurisdiction is because, first of all, we Switzerland is very well known for its uh, very, very f friendly banking laws. It's uh, much easier to do any anything related to innovative finance in Switzerland than it is in something like the United States or even Canada. Another country where we were looking at was, was Panama, which has some similar properties, but we decided that... So now you can clearly see guys because they based themselves in switzerland and they did that on purpose and they didn't say anything about ethereum in america which is so weird guys and that's 
really weird and they didn't say anything about it and that's that's just so obvious that this is going the wrong way it's not fair what's happening what Sega Spino what makes your point below even more shocking and tragic is that Ethereum was founded outside of the US intentionally to avoid potential SEC governance I'm sure digital asset buy or others will post the video clip of Vitalik admitting as much now I just showed you the, the video guys and this is the reason that he's saying that because they base themselves in Switzerland to avoid the SEC uh, regulations, which is illegal if Ethereum is still on exchanges in America and stuff like that. So you can clearly see, guys, that XRP, they just are waiting for the right moment. It's very, very obvious. Thank you for very much for watching the video, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers.